Hello there, so this is part six of our tutorial making this triple blade uh, shaver. So let's look at uh, how to make, to add this thing here. So we can isolate, we can hide these top parts that we have already done. We don't need to look at them now. It will just be getting in the way, so hide those for us for now. And then let's add this thing here. This, what, what should we add first? I think we should, we need to add this here first. So for that, so we just need to follow. Let me see. Hmm, this is a bit complicated, more complicated than I thought. But uh, I think around here it curves up to here so let's do that let's do that so we can add a loop cut from here that comes in like this like this like this then like that maybe we can add another cut around here uh, that uh, just joins this one here Then we can just do this. So we just need uh, these to follow. So you also notice that uh, I'm not m just moving. Uh, these lines are moving them along their vertices, uh, their edges, so that I don't change uh, the contour or the profile of this shape. So I think we can join this with this here, like that. So let's look at the side here. See, it goes almost to the top here, so we can add a loop. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, this should uh, this should go all the way to around there, and then end of there. And I think we can just connect this with that. And. Uh, push this like that so maybe we can also just cut this to follow like that just make sure it's not messing with the cut with the entire object so I think we can also just add a loop there Uh, you can also bevel this to have something like that. And uh, now we need to select this entire loop up to, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, you know, I think this is supposed to be like this. So we just need to select and this needs to be pushed out a bit like that. So that we can select this entire thing then not bevel inset around there make sure this middle ring is deleted then select this edge and uh, clip them to the 
make sure you have clipping on. Then clip them in the middle of the mirror. Then we can select this and push it out. Let's see, maybe along this normal here. So if we select this edge, we can use its orientation, its normal as our transformation orientation. So we just need to select this up to here and push that out like that. Is that too much? Something like that. Now if we isolate this for a second, we can use the bevel tool, the bevel something here, modifier, uh, make sure you have weight turned on. And this was supposed to be 0 0.006 for the bevel weight. And now we can select this ring and this ring and give them a bevel weight to have that. Uh, we can use two segments for this. And if you look closely, there is a, a loop. It's kind of bent in here, so we can just select this loop. Let's first turn off the bevel and the subsurf for a second. If we select this loop and this, you can bevel them. Yes, maybe move it a bit in this direction so that is this is at the same level as every other face and now if we turn this on i don't know if you see that uh, we have this issue here so we need to solve that i think we just need to join this and that and uh, connect now this loop needs to continue so control v can also give it give these two a supporting lines now uh, if you want you can also change the view to two uh, to make that even stand out more uh, but uh, I think we can also select that loop and uh, extrude it in this direction like that And see now that uh, looks like that. So now that that is done, we can work on this here. So for this loop, it comes from around, let's see, from around here. So we can connect, select this and uh, this here. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think comes from there to this. Joins like that. Let me make sure this is recording. And I think we need to extend this loop a bit. A bit down to around there. So this comes up to around here. So we can uh, just push this make sure and uh, you can see I think we can use let me see let me see should we do that I think we can use a loop this uh, we can cut from here. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. It is affecting, kind of affecting here. So we need to make sure that this is merged. Or uh, that is simply carving off. So this uh, should go to around here. So we need 
this loop is to loop like this uh, control B I think it's going in too much, so I need to undo this. And uh, this is supposed to be its own loop, or it should be pushed in inside more than it is right now. And uh, this here should be pushed out a bit more, uh, maybe from here. So then this loop up, up to here. Let's first turn off uh, this subdivision. Can be beveled. Just a bit, maybe add three loops here. And uh, the middle one can be pushed in along uh, the vertex orientation, the edge orientation. I don't know, maybe we just use Alt S for this to push it along its normal. Like that. Oh, you're going to have a lot of issues here, so we'll come and fix them after. Uh, but uh, right now this is what we have now we can give them give these loops here a bit of weight of one to have something like that I don't know we're, we're having a few issue okay that happened so that's where this part should end and I'll look at uh, uh, the other parts in the next tutorial. Thank you.